Hey guys, I'm Will Patterson. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own 3D lettering using the isometric grid. Isometric design is quite simple to follow, but can be quite tricky to understand at first. So I'm going to be showing you in this video exactly how you can create isometric 3D lettering easily. Okay, so I'm in Vectinator now and I've just changed the background to yellow, which I've just put a shape on and you can see in the layers here, I've just put a layer on top of that one. So we've got a yellow background. The first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a grid isometric 3d everything needs to be done in grids to make sure it's proper and it's super easy to do as well all you do is go up to your preferences we're going to go ahead and go to artboard and grid and press show grid select isometric and then go to 30 degree in angle and 60 pixels in spacing that will give us the right grid and as you can see it will pop up here and you'll have your grid already there. Now the next step to make this even easier for everyone is to go ahead back into the settings over here and then we're going to go to snap to and we're going to say grid and that will snap everything all the shapes all the selections to the grid so it will be perfect every time. So what is isometric design or isometric 3D? Well it's quite simple you see the way that this grid is we just follow the lines to create cool 3D stuff. So I'm going to go ahead with my pen tool here and switch my fill to a stroke and we're going to create a simple cube. We do this by following the grid lines and these grid lines will help us create exactly what we want and I'm just closing off the shapes and I'm using the pen tool here to make it super easy to do. Okay, so instantly we've got like a cube and it is a perfect cube as well because we've got those grid lines snapped on so we can actually snap everything towards the isometric grid. So this is the most basic 3D object ever. How do we create letter forms? Well, it's actually super simple as well. What we're going to do is the same thing again. We're going to go to our pen tool and we're just going to follow these lines and we're going to create an H. Let's just say an H for now. So I'm just going to do this. And we're going to create the H on this angle here. So if you imagine it's a straight line, basically it's just a straight line. I'm just going to follow it just like we would do normally without a grid. Go ahead and create the crossbar here, make it a bit smaller. So now that we've got this, this is the perfect start because we've got everything aligned up. How do we make it 3D? Well, we just repeat the same thing again. And this is where it gets quite fun. So up here, we know if we follow this line, to round about here, we come back round, we do this, we've created the cube face on the top. So we've got the top level there. Now I'm creating these all in different shapes, just using the pen tool and just clicking because it will just like fall into place exactly where I want it to go without having to worry and like nitpick around everywhere. So down here, we're gonna go round like this, create this side. And then for this side here, we're gonna create this top bit here we're just following the lines basically we're just seeing where it will take us and where we can go we just repeat over here take one face down here and the reason why i'm like drawing them out like this and i keep creating the whole shape is so later on we can color them in so you can see here i've made a tiny mistake so get rid of that create this line here there we go and then down here same thing again boom We've got an H, a very basic isometric H. It looks a bit weird as well, it's quite thick. But what we can do is go ahead and create some shading. And the way that we do that is by going to our selection tool here, click on one of the shapes, go to the style, and in the fill, we're actually gonna like see what we can get here. We're gonna click on this and create a black fill, keeping the stroke as well. Cause if we take the stroke away, it'll look kind of weird against the other lines and strokes. And anywhere where the light isn't shining, we're just simply gonna add a fill to it. Now we have like what looks kind of 3D. Well, what if we wanted to do another shape, but at a different angle? Well, that's simple as well. Go to the pen tool, make sure we've just got stroke on. And I'm just gonna go ahead and eyeball this, create an E on this angle here. We're gonna do the stems as well. So we'll go ahead and do this. I'm gonna make them less thick because otherwise it will kind of look a bit weird. We'll come down here. Repeat that process, come up here, repeat this one, make it a bit smaller. So you can see how we've gone ahead and created an E there just by basic block shapes using the grid line. So what we wanna do now is select all of this and we wanna unite it. Now Vectinate have got this cool feature, go down here, go to unite and that will unite everything, make everything a lot easier. And that just makes it into one shape. Now all we need to do is simply repeat the process that we did down here, but imagine where the 3D parts are. So for instance, here, we know that the 3D parts are gonna be down here like so. And I'm just gonna go two down, two down like so. We've got one face here, 
can create another face of 3D here following these lines. And again, we need something 3D up here. And we know that we have to go two lines down. We repeat. And we've got ourselves the isometric line there. Now what we need to do is if we wanted to add some color to this or some more depth to it is add the fills into the shadow places. And there you go, you've got your isometric E. It's as simple as that to create isometric lettering on the iPad and there's so many different ways you can do it. So I would encourage you to experiment with different angles. You can have them any way you like. You can even change the color of each side of these as well, which is really interesting. It can make it look even more 3D or you can go for the more cartoony approach like I've done here. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to go download Vectinator, subscribe so you can watch more. Thank you so much for watching.